Hey, this is Tom. In this video, I will show you how to add animated icons to your Adobe After Effects project with some helpful tips that will streamline this process. I will cover two examples. First, we will use the animated sequence that we have created in the previous video and try to integrate it into screen flow animation. In the second example, we will add animated icons to this scene from the explainer video. Ok, so let's get started. First, I would like to jump in into the screen flow composition in which we have all of the layers. All I need to do here is to update this icon animation because all of the other screens has been already animated. Simply just click on the onboarding sequence, hold Alt on the keyboard and drag it over to the icon calendar. Now we have all of the animation already happening, but we need to somehow sense it with what we see on the screen. So I'm gonna open the onboarding sequence. The plan is to use all of these sequences and call them right from this composition. So we can broadcast them and sense them easily to what we see on the screen. To do that, we we'll need to use the marker key technique from the motion script. It's super simple. Let's get back to After Effects and onboarding sequence. So first thing we need to do is create a new null object. Call it action. Now let's create a markers inside this composition. To add a marker, you can click asterisk on the keyboard or you can click layer, markers, add marker. We need to add markers at the beginning of each section of the sequence. So here, 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 here. Okay, and now let's give it the name. This will be in this will be hover cal. This will be morph one. This will be hover fill. This will be morph two. And this will be hover not. Wonderful. Now let's jump back to the screen flow and enable time remapping. Great. Now let's get back to the motion script page. Scroll down and copy the code. I'm attaching this code below the video, so we don't need to dig the internet. Let's get back, click Alt to initiate expression and paste. Great, perfect. And all you need to do now is to create a marker on that layer and name it in. Once we play it, voila, the calendar appeared. Ok, we need to add hover animation, some hover, call, great, maybe we can start a bit earlier, fantastic, over here it needs to start morphing to different icons. Morph 1. I'm using exactly the same names from this composition. So just for the reference, I can also copy the action, go to ScreenFlow and paste it over here. So I know the names. Oh, so Morph. Wonderful. Let's add over here a hover fill. Fantastic. Let's add over here. 
morph to. You, you see, I've made a typo. So if we add morph to, there's nothing happen. So we need to add the same name as we did before. This is mop. Rh two, and it works. And once we finish the morph two, let's add hover not. Fantastic. So I'll delay the guide layer, and now we have all of the animations synced perfectly with what's on the screen. It's super easy to move around the beginning time of each sequence so we can adjust the animation however we want and it's very very simple. Perfect, so we have just created our first example. Now let's jump into the explainer video and try to understand the project. So, in the project we have three bubbles coming in to the screen and then flying off. What we need to do is to import three animated icons and attach each of the icon to each of the bubble. So, let's jump into the Lord icon. I have already selected three random icons and added it to the After Project collection. Now, let's download After Effects project unpack the zip file and drag and drop these animated icons in the project. Great, I will add first icon as an example and I will work with that. Once I'm happy with what I see, then I'll replace the other icons. So first, I'll jump straight into this icon and I see all of the compositions. So I'll try to do the same as with the onboarding sequence. First, I will distribute all the layers so they don't overlap each other. Then, I will delete the expressions from the opacity, change the current stroke change to action, and start adding markers. This will be in. This will be hover. And this will be loop. I don't know what will I use, so I'm just naming everything. Now let's jump back to explainer video example and let's enable time remap. Let's jump back to the expression, copy this, get back to After Effects and apply it to the time remap. Wonderful. Now I'll just extend time remap to the entire sequence. Click, let's say hover. Okay, animation plays quite well. Okay, let's now parent this icon to the bubble too and let's maybe put it over here. Make it smaller in size. Okay, I'll just put it over here. So, we have this animation of the icon coming into the screen like this. Great. But I don't want to see the icon once it's flying over here. So, I need to find the best moment, let's say here, to reveal this icon. So I'll change the layer to in and then crop the animation in that place. So whenever it opens, so at that time it can show up. Wonderful. After a few seconds, let's say two seconds, over here, let's add a hover. So entire sequence looks like this. Maybe 
we can play it a bit earlier. Over here. Great, it looks fantastic. Now, now I'm going to duplicate it and align it with different bubbles. Let's preview this. It looks great, but I need to realign the animation. So the middle icon appears in the proper timing. The icon on the right hand side, which is this, could appear a bit earlier. And this icon should appear over here. So everything looks like this. What I don't like here is that all of the hovers are not aligned with each other. So I'll just play them all at once at 4 seconds. Now let's apply the other icons. For the first icon I want to use Bolt. For the third icon I want to use Thumb Up. As you can see the icons disappeared. So all I need to do right now is to add the action to the other icons and distribute the layers in the correct way. So this is icon thumb up, over here should appear the hover. Now let's delete the expressions. And bold the same. Great, it animates well. Now let's get back to explain our example. Okay, let's preview. All of the icons works now because we have used the same technique as with the coin icon. So now let's cover the possible color adjustments. There are three ways on how to color these icons. First, the simplest one is to go to each icon Open the color layer, in this case we use the, the action and change the color to, for example, this one. You can also change different properties and then copy the effects. Then go to, to the other and just paste the effects to the color and stroke change. Let's get back to the main comp as, and you can see that all of the colors has been applied correctly. The other method is to use change color effect and upload it. Then source this color and change the color to whatever you want to use. You can copy the same effect and apply it to other icons. This is very helpful if you have more than one icon and you don't want to go to each icon one by one and apply the same colors. If you have only one color, you can also use the fill effect, which is super, super easy. And all you need to do is just upload the fill and the same. Maybe we can use different color so you see the difference and apply the effect to the rest of the compositions. And that's the end. This is how easy it is to add animated icons to your Adobe After Effects project. I hope you find this video helpful. Till the next time. Cheers.